Hey, welcome to episode 2. In this episode, we're going to begin to disassemble the engine to install the billet aluminum rod. There's the beautiful shiny billet aluminum rod, bow spring keepers, valve springs, and the engine side cover gasket. First, you gotta remove the oil. Once the oil is removed, you're going to start removing the engine from the base. First, you're going to remove all the bolts on the torque converter side. They're removed. Then you're going to remove the bolts from the engine base, and you may remove the engine. There's the engine once it's removed. I've removed the gas tank and the flywheel cover as well. First, we're going to start taking the bolts out for the engine case. It's also known as the oil section. So give it a light tap of the hammer and you're in. You can see the gasket's been ruined but I got an extra one. First we're going to remove the rod. You can see the bolts are now highlighted in red. You're going to want to remove those two. And once you remove them, it comes out like that. Next, you're going to take the head of the engine off. Again, the bolts are highlighted in red. You must remove all of them. Make sure to get that one underneath the rocker arms. So, the head's off. And there's the head. Alright, and then get the piston out and get push it from the bottom and push it out through the top. And you take the little G clips out of the wrist pin. There's the wrist pin there. And you push the wrist pin out with your thumb and you should be able to take the rest of the rod out. The glory shot. And then you're going to put the bottom back on the original connecting rod. Who knows, you might need it someday. There's the new one, all shiny. And then you're just going to attach the new one on. You might want to clean your piston as long as you're at it, just the top. Alright, now I've switched to video here to show you the rule of one-thirds rings. If you don't like math, that's okay. This is very, very simple. Caveman could do it, right? Okay, now first, here we got your piston. We've got the rings right there. There's one, there's one, there's the other. Now, if you line the holes up all the way that way, the piston goes up and down, it's just going to blow right by. The valves won't be doing their job, they'll just be letting the air go right by. So, you have to offset them by one third. It means bottom one, this one, it's known as the oil sweeper one, goes wherever you want. This one goes a third off of that, this one goes another third off of that. Alright, here's an example. We got one right there, another one right there, another one right there. That'd be about one third on all of them. Doesn't have to be perfect. Just guess. Alright, next couple of steps are going to be without videos or pictures. What you're going to do is you're going to take your motor oil, use 30 weight, you're going to put it on your hands, and you're going to lather it all around there so you get a nice layer. Then you're going to take, you're going to put motor oil all around the cylinder. Then you're going to take your piston crimping tool, and use it per directions, put it on there, tighten it on, put it on tap it with the bottom of a wooden hammer down into there. 
and your piston will be on. Make sure that dirt and other foreign objects do not get in between the piston wall and the piston, or you can definitely say goodbye to your motor. Due to my own stupidity, I failed to get a tool that would help me get those nuts off. Apparently, quarter inch is too small, and 930 seconds is too big, and that's a millimeter size is fit either. Okay, so I have since learned that that tool is known as a reverse Torx head, and you need a reverse Torx head socket to adapt to whatever size of socket wrench that you traditionally use and then you may remove that bottom ring. That will be covered in the next video when I get one of those. So thanks for watching and stay tuned for the next episode.